Hello, welcome to JBit's producer tips and tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use compression and what compression involves. As you can see on my screen, I have uh, a sample already loaded out. So what is compression? Compression is the reduction of gain and uh, the amplifying of quiet sounds within a dynamic range. Now what is a dynamic range? A dynamic range is simply the highest or the loudest part of the sound or the signal to the lowest part of the signal. So from, from this point, highest uh, point of the signal to this point here was it's the lowest part of the signal. Now, the most important thing about compression is keeping the same input and output levels. They should sound the same. So for instance, I have a fruity limiter here. Now on fruity limiter, there are two options there's a limiter here and the compressor you need to go to the compressor and on the compressor we have a uh, threshold and the ratio and the knee which are all important and under the envelope we have the attack release and the uh, sustain button so in this tutorial we're going to be working on these components from the gain threshold the knee and the ratio the attack the release and the sustain so how does compression work so for us to reduce the gain of the sound we need to use the threshold and we need to identify the quiet or the most quiet part of the signal so as you can see this is the most quiet part of the signal and this is the loudest part of the signal that's within the dynamic range of a signal. So we'll reduce it down to negative 16. So it's around this area where you need to reduce it, but I'll reduce it more to show you how the compression works. The ratio is used to harshen the sounds, the transients of the sounds. So without the, the limiter on, and with the limiter on so for sounds you need to make sure you do not over compress them otherwise they'll sound they'll sound muddy You need to make sure the output is the same as the input gain. So, <laughs> so without the limiter being on, it's already on 3 dB. And with the limiter on, So now we can use the gain to increase the loudness of the sound because it has been reduced. So we need to level out the input and the output signals. Mm -hmm. 
and then the release and attack this is how f when it's at zero here this is how fast the sound is compressed and the release is how fast the sound is released from the compression or when this compression stops working so a high release means more compression time So as you can see from the graph, it takes longer for the compression to stop uh, working if the release is to the fullest. Yeah, so this, this is all about uh, compression. And the knee is just, it helps you find the perfect uh, level of compression on the ratio as you compress if you like this video hit a thumbs up subscribe to the channel to get notified for more videos and i'll see you in the next one